I want to make a little point about gear motors and uh, Deltang receivers. As many of you know, I'm a great fan of the Deltang radio gear. I think it's absolutely superb and I've got it in all my kit. Um, I also make a lot of use of various gear motors as they, as they become available mostly from China. Um, I've had my favourite gear motor, uh, a K20, which is sadly not available anymore. I'm just digging one out to show you. Uh, this is the type of gear motor that has been so superb for a couple of years and you can't get any more. I only have a couple of them left. Absolutely gorgeous things they are. Um, and of course the loss of them on the market is, let me say, something of a tragedy. Um, because there isn't anything as good as those. The only other thing on the market is uh, what some companies have been selling pretending they're these things um, uh, are also 8mm gear motors are these and as you can see they're they're longer they are 8mm diameter they're longer they have a different motor um, and a different gear ratio, whereas these uh, are uh, nominally 90 RPM at 3.7 volts. These things are about 40 RPM at the same speed, at the same voltage, uh, which is not good for direct drive of vehicles. Um, and having been sold a pile of those uh, pretending they were these, I was not, not very happy. Um, particularly as I was buying these for about £3.50 each at the time, and these were about £9, so um, much, much, much more expensive and rather unsuitable. One of the things I did do uh, as an experiment uh, was unclip the gearbox of these and I took one of the uh, st stages of the epicyclic gears out and shorten the gearbox and reattach it and I did that uh, and you see the result there you don't see it very clearly but it is there and I sleeved it in a bit of uh, brass tube to hold it together, all nicely aligned, and mechanically that works very, very well. And in fact, that gives me uh, an output speed of something in the region of 140 RPM, which is a little bit faster than I would like, um, but uh, workable with. Um, and you could always put a gear reduction on the front end uh, on the final drive if you wanted. But at 140 RPM, it is, you know, it is potentially useful uh, in, in a vehicle as is. It's also, in fact, a little bit shorter than uh, uh, how it comes supplied. Um, so, you know, there is a way of uh, using these things by shortening it and you can see it's a little bit shorter by a single stage in there so great i thought that that'll be that'll be super and in, and i put it in a uh, a vehicle as a test bed and powered it up and um i was disappointed to find that actually it's slow speed It's slow speed starting really isn't good enough. I mean, that's me just edging the transmitter. 
And actually, when you're trying to crawl around the yard, it isn't good enough. Uh, one's used to a, a much better slow speed re response, and particularly when when you try um, try it in a vehicle, it doesn't react well enough. Certainly not what we're used to. Now, uh, and incidentally, that's its top speed with that uh, uh, stage, the one stage the gearbox removed, but it is running very smoothly, so mechanically it works fine. So, uh, what I did uh, sometime later when, when it actually occurred to me, um, I remembered that these Deltang receivers um, are surprisingly sophisticated. This is the RX41, which I use most commonly. And amongst other things, you can uh, program the pulse width modulation, which sounds awfully fancy, but it's the way the receiver uh, sends out or chops up the current that it supplies to the motor. And uh, motors tend to be quite sensitive as to how they like their current. And different motors like it in different ways. And it did occur to me that this motor might like its breakfast served up rather differently. So I got to uh, uh, having an experiment and first of all find out what the receiver was pre-programmed to deliver and then tried programming it to something else. And I found out that at the moment this is delivering uh, it's breakfast at 700 hertz. Fine at uh, full speed, what have you, but actually slow speed response is not quite good enough. And anything we can do to improve it, um, we, we will do. So uh, I'm going to reprogram it uh, to deliver at the bottom end of the range. Now, uh, if you'll bear with me, we'll just reprogram it. So, first of all, we'll turn that off. Now, to program, uh, you need to have the instructions in front of you, which I do. Uh, so, sticks to the centre, so they're cross-eyed and multiple flash like that, release, and we're in programming mode. So we want level four, this is level one, so two flashes, no, three flashes, no, no to that, four flashes, yes, one, two, three, four, that was, yes. No to that, uh, the tree we're following, we want two flashes on that. So yes, two flashes on that. And the next one, we also want two flashes, which is good. So yes to that. And then... Uh, next one, two flashes is fine for that. Right, now this, at five flashes, it's telling us it's programmed to 700 hertz, which we know. Now, um, we're going to cycle it round. Single flash, that is now 12 hertz. Now, I think 12 hertz is going to be too low, so we're going to go to two flashes. That is now at 60 hertz. So we're going to say yes to 60 hertz. Thank you very much. And it has come out of program mode. Now then, if we have a look at the motor, uh, first of all, 
wallops around nice and smoothly, that's fine. Now, uh, let's go for a nice slow speed. Now then, yes, there we go. Um, that's giving us much, much, much better slow speed control. Really very pretty indeed. Now, if you can imagine that's a vehicle and that's its wheel turning, that is very, very, very much more delicate. Uh, and you can imagine a vehicle manoeuvring gently, uh, gently and sensitively. So, um, by messing around with the uh, pulse width modulation, we can greatly improve the characteristics of the, of the vehicle we're using. Um, now, I have bought a number of gear motors in the past uh, which have behaved appallingly and I've uh, filed them away for a rainy day thinking I can't possibly use those because they're, they're rubbish. I've still got them but I wonder actually how many of them would behave acceptably um, uh, given uh, the right breakfast. So uh, I hope you find this useful. Um, that's, this is an example of the usefulness of uh, being able to control the pulse width modulation and how simple it is uh, to alter on the deltangs. Word of warning, um, you've kind of got to keep your wits about you with the instructions. It's very easy uh, just to get your head muddled when um, following, uh, you know, the, the, the flashes. Have I done this? Is it the next one flashing? Etc. Etc. You've got to be uh, hard and logical about it. Um, but it is of itself a very simple operation as long as you keep your wits about you. Uh, but it's certainly well worth, uh, well worth doing. But I thought you'd find this uh, interesting. And um, what with correcting the pulse width modulation on the receiver and the ability to rebuild these flipping things to a more useful gear ratio, um, we may have some useful gear motors back with us. Um, food for thought. <laughs>